All right, people. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. As you know already, man is serious, man. Man talk on serious topics all the time. I'm sure hardly any of you lot see me smile or even laugh on this channel. But today, man are going to be smiling. Man are going to be laughing. Man are going to be a bit embarrassed still, not going to lie. I'm going to be reacting to my cringy videos when I first started this JYS TV thing almost four years ago. So the way this video came about is because I was going to make one video called Why Corporate Black Men Struggle With Black Women. And it's pretty much because they talk proper. Black women, for the most part, they don't like black men that talk proper. They like men that talk rough, talk hood. So I thought to use myself as an example, because I know man used to talk real proper back in the day. And then when I started watching one of the videos, I'm like, you know what? A man can make a proper reaction video out of this, so that's what I'm going to do now. Now, the way me talking proper came about was, obviously, man from the street got up on the ends and that. I used to talk hood like I do now, but when I went to uni, there was a black woman that said to me, you need to change the way you talk. She's like, if you want to become successful like your directors at work, how do they talk? And I was like, yeah, you know what, she's right. You know? So I decided to do some work on the way I speak. I started to talk proper, announce my T's and you understand what I'm trying to say? And um, yeah, it just killed all my hoodness and, and all my swag, but man's got it back now, you get me? So let me get into this video. So this first one, I'm gonna be doing three. This first one is called Never Make a Decision in Anger because it's gonna backfire. Get ready to laugh, yeah. Right, this is an important video. Like, I am so mad right now. The man started off with, right, this is an important video. And banged his fist on the Ross Clark steering wheel. Like, I can't even explain it with words. I just, I want to rip someone's head off. But never make a decision in anger. Never allow your emotions to get the better of you. If you're going to make a decision, Give it a few days, if something annoys you or whatever, give it a few days and always plan it carefully. Never do anything in anger because you won't be, you won't, you're not using a level head, right? So it's basically like you um, doing something when you're drunk, right? In anger, the same thing as doing something when you're, when you're drunk. You, you're not using a level head, right? I have a vending machine business. If you haven't seen any videos about that, go and check the one where um, I say how much I'm making at the, at the my vending machine. Go and check that. So I've had this vending machine at this community centre and I've had it there, I think in August of 2019, that would have been three years. I can't really remember, but I'm sure it would have been three years. And since the first day I've had the vending machine, I've always had the key. So I've always had the privilege of going to the community centre after hours. The privilege of going to the community centre after hour. Now, I do business for the managers of the community centre. I go and um, carry out electrical work and whatever, electrical tests and stuff like that. So I've done quite a few um, bits and pieces of work for them. And uh, yeah, you know, they, they trust me. They give me keys to other community centres as well in different in a different location and stuff. So I've got a good rapport with them, everything. So, got a good rapport with them. Um, yeah, so carry out work with them and for them at the community centre and stuff like that to pick up the vending machine as I please. So the community centre is open from about six in the morning to eleven at night. So no one's ever there after the hours of eleven. Fine. So I go there most of the time. I go there by myself. But before, when I was with my ex girlfriend, she lives around the corner. So now and then I used to take her there and we used to just fill up the vending machine and just chill out for a bit. You know, just chill, out. just chill out for a bit. <laughs> So, and I've been there, you know, like after that with other girls as well, but not to do anything, just we might have been out and about and I just want to go and check on my vending machine, so I'll go and sit down. Out and about. So, I've never had anyone from the um, community centre, none of the managers complain about that, that I've brought any women. Um, one time I did turn up to do a job and the managers were there and he made a joke, oh, you know, is this, is this how you date your, your wife? Is this your, is this your idea of a date, taking your missus to go and top up your vending machine? So, that was funny though. I remember I went in there and um, yeah, like I said in the video, I've gone in there to yeah, top up one of the vending machines and also look at doing some work. I think they needed a cooker circuit installed or something like that. And one of the managers said, is this your idea of a date? You take your missus to go and fill up your vending machine and look at work. 
Man's a grinder, you know. Grinder back then, grinder now, forever be a grinder, fam. No. They never had a problem with that. So, obviously, it's a community centre and they have some nice rooms. Like, they have one nice room. You know? It's an interview room. So, if you've seen the video about the uni students or why women can't find or hold on to good men, you will notice there's, like, some green chairs and stuff and the, 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 um, the room's quite nice looking. So, I was... <laughs> The room is quite nice looking. Using uh, that room to make my my um, YouTube videos, and they've noticed that I've been um, deactivating the alarm at like twelve o'clock at midnight, uh, so twelve o'clock at night, and not leaving until three four in the morning. But they didn't have the balls to call me up to find out why. Now they could see on the system that I've been signing in, uh, but deactivating the alarm and, and then activating the alarm on on um, on um, departure, right? And I've been there for like three, four hours. But they didn't have the balls to confront me about that. And, and they're also able to check that on, on the CCTV. The, the CC, uh, CCTV system is so good, right? They can actually um, what, um, watch what's going on live. They got live um, video playback. Um, so they got live video playback on their mobile phone. So they were watching me going to the community centre on my own and sitting down there for like four hours and not coming. And sitting down there and, and sitting down there and not coming out. And I don't like behaviour like that. I find it like quite snaky, right? If you're not from the street or anything, snaky behaviour means like, I don't know. you don't sound like you're from the street. Bro. How do you even explain snaky behaviour? You know, it's just like um, people when they, they 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 don't be up front with you and they do stuff behind your back or whatever. That's that's what snaky behaviour is. So I find that behaviour snaky. The lady that I'm in contact with most, she only brought it up when I mentioned something about the interview. And she said, oh, yes, oh, um, I noticed that you was there for like three, four hours. What were you doing? And I said, yeah, I was making some some vlogs for my YouTube. And she was like, oh, I was like, well, have you got a problem with that? So I brought it up. And she was like, well, it's not really uh, allowed. And I was like, all right, cool. So I didn't do anything after that. I just left it. Then I made that video with the um, uh, um, the uh, vending machine, how much I make um, in a month time with the vending machine. And... Obviously, I, I don't know if they're watching me or anything. That was during the day. So I don't, they don't have no reason to be watching me on the camera. But you never know. They might have, right? They have no reason to, but, you know, they might have. So they might have seen me recording. So I've got a text message today saying, oh, um, obviously, I'm not going to say my name, but just in my... Jelani. Night. They say, oh, Jay Wise, um, could you return the keys for the community centre? Because we're running low on fobs. Now, the fob is what deactivate the alarm. We're running low on fobs, but we can give you back the key in the fob when you next have to do work, when the next job comes up, for example. So I've read that text and I sent the text back saying, well, how am I supposed to top up the vending machine? Because obviously I, I work during the day and I'm busy during the day, you know, even if it's a weekend, I might not want to go there. I might want to go there in my own time. You know, I might be coming out, coming back from a, um, a party or be out and about. Told you about announcing those teas, a party, but it's now I say a party. I might want to go to the community centre and top it up in my own time, maybe one in the morning. I'm just that type of person. So she was like, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to do it, do it during the day. So I just texted her back saying, sure. Because I wanted to call her back and bark down the phone and scream bloody murder. But I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say bark down the phone and scream bloody murder. So what was I going to do? Phone out the woman and say bloody murder. Where did I get these? The choice of words is just mad. Mad. So let me just don't burn any bridges because that will just be stupid. But I feel violated because they know me and they know I'm a responsible person, but yet still they want to take the keys off me. So they're taking away a privilege. Like it's a privilege to go to the community centre at any time I want. And I respect the place as well. I actually even said on that video as I entered the building, I love this place. I treat it with respect. I treat it like it's my home. You know, even one time I was there with my <laughs> and she ate something and then there was like some mess on the floor. You know, I cleared it up because I don't want them, 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 um, you know. I Should have made the damn girl clear up her own damn mess. I don't want anyone coming to the community centre and disrespecting the place or whatever. So I treat the place like it's my home. I always clean up after myself and that. And I just feel violated now. I'll be cutting off my own nose to spite my face. I'll, uh, do you know what I was thinking? I was sitting down in Subway. I just had a Subway sandwich. And I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to go there and take that vending machine out. I'm not even going to give them any warning. I'm just going to take out the vending machine. But then where are you going to put it? And then I thought, okay, I'm going to sell it. So, where, so you're just going to go and sell it. You're going to go and sell your vending machine to someone. 
So you're going to spit your dummy out because you have the hump. And they <laughs> spit your dummy out because you have the hump, you know. But it, it did piss me off, though, because if, if I'm doing something that you don't like, but I'm unaware, I don't expect you to just sit there and observe, man. Because with the system, like I explained in the video, they could watch me on their phone. So they could literally be sitting in their bed at two in the morning watching me on their phone and that. But you're not going to say nothing. You're going to wait for me to phone you for you to then say something. See, I don't like that. I hate when people are not up front with me. Man. So that's what got on my damn nerves. Um, but yeah, I would be cutting off my nose to spat my own face to say uh, if I want to remove the vending machine. But what am I going to, what am I going to do if it's the kidney storage or fill it just because they got on my nerves and that? But I didn't like the fact that they wanted to take the, the fob away from me. Man. Keys off you. So it's a good thing I'm making this video because I actually feel a bit more calmer now. But honestly, I'm like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm a really nice person on one side, but then. On the other side, I'm an actual demon. Like, if you ask people... <laughs> a demon, you know? Well, yeah, that's why I'm spraying red, you get me? family, they will tell you I'm a demon. But like, I'm a nice guy, but don't get on the wrong side of me. Man, I had to reiterate, I'm a demon. Seriously. I actually feel like, I think, like, I'm so pumped up and raged, I could probably flip this car. <laughs> <laughs> someone that is taking away a privilege so don't ever do that and i'm not gonna take the vending machine out and sell it well maybe, maybe i will well, i eventually had to anyway obviously fast forward a few years of that get me man had to sell that vending machine but yeah but i'll give it some more thought because the way thought. i see it thought. if that never happened if, if they never tried to confiscate the keys off me then i wouldn't have thought about um Sell it, um, selling that vending machine. So if they never tried to come and get the keys on me. I wouldn't. That I would, the vending machine would still be there. I wouldn't have given given it a second thought about moving that vending machine or putting it somewhere else. So I cannot, as my to myself, I cannot allow something so minor and trivial and stupid. Something so minor and trivial and stupid that affect my business. But well, we are human beings, and you know. If, you know, sometimes, you know, especially with me, if you catch me on the wrong day, I might do something um, that'll be a bit wild and stuff. But the moral of that story is don't do anything in anger and don't Ooh. pass off your nose to spite your own face. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station. All right, next one. Might as well to the next one now. So this one is called Why Women Love Bad Boys and Alpha Men. Why women like bad boys? Now, to be a bad boy, you don't have to be a criminal or thug. You can have a bit of swag and still stay on the right side of the law. But women like bad boys because they are masculine, they are dominant, and they will defend them. Especially if she's a pretty girl. If she's a pretty girl, she's going to need a guy who's going to defend her. Because guys are always going to chase her down and harass her. She needs to be with guys who will defend her. Now, I had a girl, and she was so nice. Guys used to drive past in their car and shout out painting and beat their horn. And I know all of her neighbours fancied her as well because she was like Jenny from the block. And one day I was in her house, and we were just chilling in the city room, which backs onto the garden. And this bottle of water just flies out of the sky. And this bottle of water just flies out of the sky and lands in the back garden. See how the man was talking before? Okay. Is, this is actually embarrassing, you know. It's embarrassing to watch the playback, you know. I've heard other YouTubers say this before, and it like, and they weren't really talking any different. Like, man's talks a lot different. Like, the last three, four years, man's changed the way man's spoken. Like, man's reverted. Um, but yeah, they will say when they go back to their old videos, they cringe at the way they were talking. Now they 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 don't speak any different. It's almost like their delivery car. Obviously, they're a bit nervous or whatever in it, but. Me, it's not just, oh, man's not uh, familiar with the camera, camera shy. No, man even spoke different than that. Spoke like a fucking... Man. Man's in her back garden. 
Now she's turned to me and she said, do you see what I have to deal with? Now I took that as a disrespect because I've got OCD as well. So if you throw rubbish in my girl's back garden, I see that as a violation. So I've gone outside into the back garden and shouted that boy, but no, no response from anyone. So I picked up this bottle of water and walked through the house. And she said, don't go upstairs and start any trouble because she knows I've got a temper. So I didn't listen to her. So I've gone upstairs and I've knocked on the door and some boys answered the door. And I said, I'm downstairs in my girl's house and someone's thrown this bottle of water into the back garden. And he's like, oh, it hasn't come from my house. I said, listen, yes, it has. Because I've seen where it's come from. I know it's come from your house, right? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, listen, take your things back. And that was the end of that. So I've gone downstairs and she was moaning and complaining. Oh, you never listened to me. I told you not to go upstairs just in case you start trouble with my neighbours. So I've had a real moan about it. But you know, at the end of the day, a real moan about it. But regardless of how man speaks and that or sport, man will still stick it on people as setting pace. And that'll never fucking change it. Just because the output is different don't mean the input is different, yeah? She could see that I have her back. Posh boy or not. a guy yeah. who will defend her honour. Women need a guy with the mentality, if you mess with my girl, you mess with me. That's what they need. That's what they want, because they want to feel protected, especially in the future for their children. Now, what a woman classes as a bad boy is different amongst the races. What a white woman will perceive as a bad boy is different to what a black woman will perceive as a bad boy. To be perceived as a bad boy to a white woman is so easy. Just wear a leather jacket, ride a motorbike, wear sunglasses, climb trees, and chop wood with, with an axe. You're a bad boy to a white woman. Chop wood, wood with an axe. What the fuck is going on here? But to be classed as a bad boy to a black woman, you have to be the following. You have to be six foot five and weigh 16 stone, wear Balmain jeans and drive a Maserati, be from Chirac, shoot at the police, and listen to 6 9 If you don't do any of those, you will not class you as a bad boy. If you don't do any of those, you probably be classed as a nerd or beta male. So if you like the video, beta subscribe. Man. If you don't like the video, change your station. Oh my days. Wow. Okay. Like right now, man's boiling, you know. Like man, look cool, calm, and collected. But man's sweating. Like you look, will never take me seriously after this, you know. Imagine how man can change the way he speaks, tonality, and that. That even like oh, voice, right. voice pitch, and that. Um, in three years, mad. Anyway, next one, next one, last one. How to attract it? How to attract an Instagram model? How to attract an Instagram model. Now, these Instagram models oh, you have to are go not back. official models, right? They are not Twiggy, they are not Tyra Banks, and they are not Naomi Campbell. They are Nikaila, they are Taylor, and they are Leticia, right? All of which, some of us probably went to school with them, some of us probably live on the same council estate if you're from a council estate you're from a council estate with them right they are nothing special but with these social media websites like twitter and twitter. especially instagram <laughs> they have made these women into cyberspace celebrities right now you know this is so kinky i don't even know if i can continue you know but you know for the purpose of the video and the purpose of you lot's time, you get me viewing this and that man's gonna continue with it. But like, literally, just watching this back now, I think, so how did I even bang any girls? Like, how are girls even attracted to a man that even comes across like that? But yeah, man, still getting gal at that time as well. Um, but man used to turn off certain gal. I remember one of my bridges must have hooked me up with one of his missus's friends, and she she'd seen me before but never spoke to me. So she must have thought, oh, yeah, I was good looking. And when I first met my friend's girlfriend for the first time, she said, he is the perfect type for such and such. But for some reason, at that point in time, um, I never got the girl's number or whatever. Boom. So anyway, um, the girl had seen me in person. Um, then somehow through my friend's missus, I got the girl's number. Boom, chatting to her. 
texting was going cool. As soon as I sent her a voice note, that was the last time I heard from him. Anyway, boom, caught up with my friend about a week later, innit? And then he said that basically, yeah, she just didn't like the way you spoke, innit? When you turned her off, I'm like, bro, bro, now I understand why. They do look really good, right? They look amazing, right? I don't know if it's surgery and or um, filters and Photoshop, but these women look amazing, right? And most men who are watching this now, right, have probably spent hours, maybe not an hour straight, maybe, maybe not. But no, 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 no. There's a man, you hear me? Yeah, hours straight, yeah? So, yeah. Hours binging over photos of these women on their mobile phone, right? Because I've done it before, right? Now, now, what type of guy can get hold of one of these women, right? Now, you probably think, oh, easy, easy, you know, a man with money, a man with money. Well, it depends on what type of guy with money, first of all, right? If you are a surgeon, right, you earn 200 bags for the year, right? 200,000 pounds for the year, right? <laughs> she will not be interested in you, right? Even if your name is Bill Gates, right, she would not be interested in you. And I'll tell you why, right? You don't have that mainstream status, right? Now, someone like Bill Gates, right? If a girl was interested in him, it would only be a short-term thing. And if it was long-term, he's probably going to be a sugar daddy, right? So she would just rinse him, right? So then you probably think, okay, well, if it's not a man with money, okay, easy, then, oh, a oh, bad boy, a, a tug, right? No, 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 no. These girls have evolved past thugs, right? They will leave that to the average pretty girls who probably only had 100,000 followers, right? They, they believe they're beyond that now, right? They're beyond that now. Fucking hell, fam. What was the matter with me, blood? Shit. The only type of guy they would be interested in is a footballer or maybe like a, if you was in America, a basketball player or a boxer, right? Now, why a footballer, right? Because this type of person has got, it will have, definitely have swagger, right? They will definitely have swagger and they will definitely have a name, right? Just like a boxer, just like an NFL player, right? They'll have a swagger, they'll have the swagger and they'll have a name. They'll have the swagger, they'll have the swagger and the name. Right? Now, if you were one of these footballers, right? It would be so simple to attract one of these women, right? Because believe me, these women go out looking for these men, you know. I'll call it, you know what, right? No disrespect, but you can actually call it high class prostitution because I know some of these women, right? Probably will find out where and what types of clubs these men go to and they will find themselves there, right? That is what you call the ultimate high class prostitution, right? Because they will take up, they, they, they will meet these guys, right? And they will get pregnant by these men, right? So that they can have their baby, obviously, so that they can be set for life, right? Now, that's like that, uh, that Britney Renner girl. If you're a footballer, right? The easiest way to attract one of these high class prostitutes, right? One of these Instagram models would be to do the following, right? You wouldn't even need to go to a club, right? All you need to do, now remember, I done told you lot, I done told you lot, do not DM these women. Right? Oh, a little, little bit of hood coming out, I done told you lot, you know, I done told you lot, you know, don't DM these Instagram models. Right? But all they'll need to do is have an Instagram profile that is public, right? Not private public and all they'll need to do is take a photo of them in their football kit right in the middle of the pitch right say for example they're wearing a uh, chelsea football kit right in the middle of the pitch and send that photo to the woman right by idea right with a caption under it with one word right now they don't have to send them some stupid message from some pickup artist that they heard on the internet. Oh, um, the violets are orange and roses are blue. No. <laughs> send them a photo of them with a football kit with a caption with one word on it. 
Hi. And it's a wrap for me. Anyway. Yeah, man. <laughs> How on earth I used to get girls back then as well, boy. Madness. Anyway, respect for watching. Stay wise. Done, man.